war between Israel and Hamas has been ongoing for several decades, with the latest conflict erupting in October 2023. This long-standing conflict has brought about immense suffering, with both civilian casualties and hostages taken during the recent violence. However, a significant development on the horizon has the world on the edge of its seat. Reports suggest that the United States is planning to provide its ally, Israel, with the latest F-22 Raptor jets. This decision carries not only significant political implications, but also a sense of anticipation. For Hamas, this means there's a lot at stake, as these advanced jets have the potential to deal a severe blow to their capabilities. Join us as we delve into the Laser F-22 Raptor that is coming to Israel. Goodbye, Hamas. Despite its modest size, Israel boasts an impressive arsenal of tanks, airplanes, ships, submarines, and, most significantly, highly skilled personnel. As of 2023, Israel confidently ranks among the top 20 strongest armies globally, a remarkable feat for a nation of its size. However, the Israeli Air Force needs external support in their most recent war with Hamas. The Israel Air Force is a seasoned powerhouse in the world of aviation, boasting around 595 aircraft. This fleet includes 252 fighter jets, 252 attack aircraft, 49 transport aircraft, 131 trainers, and 143 special purpose aircraft. Their backbone consists mainly of F-15s and F-16s, supplemented by the latest addition of F-35s, further enhancing their aerial dominance. But something is about to change. The U.S. will be deploying some of their F-22 Raptors to the country, and the ones with the latest updates at that. The F-22 Raptor, often hailed as the world's first fifth-generation fighter, has impressive characteristics. It's intelligent, stealthy, fast, and armed to the teeth with some of the most advanced 21st century weapons. With the ability to deploy devastating firepower against formidable adversaries, it's a key asset for the U.S. Air Force and now Israel. The focus also just shifted to enhancing the F-22's capabilities even further by equipping it with cutting-edge laser weapons. These laser systems, which might sound like something out of science fiction, are at the forefront of technological advancement. They promise to bring a new dimension to the F-22's already impressive arsenal. The F-22 Raptor offers a formidable array of weapons designed for precise, lethal strikes against air, sea, and ground targets with bird's-eye precision. Nevertheless, both the Air Force and the F-22 are driven by an unquenchable thirst for more. They seek a weapon that can shoot faster, longer, and with greater precision. Only one weapon fits this description. Laser weapons. Laser weapons can potentially revolutionize the F-22's capabilities, offering the speed, accuracy, and range that the Air Force desires. By harnessing the power of lasers, the F-22 may reach new heights in its quest for air superiority. The Air Force Research Lab, or AFRL for short, is the branch of the Air Force responsible for turning this Air Force's dream weapons into reality. AFRL initiated a program known as the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD for short, to bring this vision to life. SHIELD represents a collaborative effort involving three of the world's most renowned defense contractors, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin. Each of these giants has a crucial role to play in the development of a single laser weapon system. The primary objective of this venture has been the creation of a potted laser-directed energy weapon designed primarily for intercepting and neutralizing incoming missiles. However, the AFRL has long acknowledged the potential for these systems to have offensive applications. Initially, their utility is expected to focus on self-defense and possibly within visual range close combat, but their capabilities may expand in the future. Hell FAD, or High Energy Laser Weapons for Protection of the Future Air Dominance Fighter, is the formal title of the study that created this program. The Air Force has been persistently pursuing SHAELD as an advanced technology demonstration program. Indeed, it has encountered technical challenges and other delays in the past. 
Also, flight testing for the whole system was not anticipated until at least 2023. Now, Northrop Grumman is tasked with delivering the weapons beam control system. This is a critical component that ensures precision and accuracy. Boeing is responsible for the pod subsystem, which houses various essential elements, while Lockheed Martin's role is to deliver Lance, the actual laser system. Lockheed Martin secured $26.3 million in funding from the Air Force to develop the system, and in February of last year, they fulfilled their commitment. According to those in the know, the Lance laser system was worth every year of anticipation. As Kent Wood, the acting director of AFRL's Directed Energy Directorate, puts it, Lance and its companion subsystems represent the most compact and capable laser weapon technologies ever delivered to the Air Force. Tyler Griffin, an executive at Lockheed Martin, adds that Lance is a breakthrough in terms of size and power. It's the smallest and lightest high-energy laser of its class that Lockheed Martin has ever constructed. Mr. Griffin further explains, that Lance builds on the progress made with a previously directed energy weapon developed for the Army under the Robust Electric Laser Initiative, a RALI. This older laser weapon boasts a 60 kilowatt class. Electrically driven solid state laser with robust efficiency and excellent beam quality. While the precise power specifications of Lance have not been officially disclosed, it's expected to be in the same class as Rayleigh. However, the striking difference is that Lance is 83% smaller, making it an ideal fit for fighter jets. Fighter aircraft typically have limited space to accommodate new equipment, and the compact size of Lance is a significant advantage. Moreover, Lance boasts reduced power requirements compared to its predecessors, meaning it won't strain the power plants on fighter jets as much as other systems might. This reduction in power demand is another feather in Lance's cap. Though the specific fighter aircraft that will be equipped with laser weapons hasn't been officially announced, there are strong indications. Lockheed Martin's concept art showcased the laser pod carried by an F-16 fighter jet. Additionally, Boeing flew a pre-prototype pod without its internal subsystems aboard an Air Force F-15 fighter in 2019. However, it's worth noting that these examples involve fourth-generation fighters. There have been reports suggesting that the U.S. Air Force is contemplating arming its fifth- and sixth-generation fighters with laser weapons. This implies that the sixth-generation fighter from the next-generation Air Dominance NGAD, program will likely wield the shield laser weapon. The Next Generation Air Dominance Initiative is a forward-looking effort that encompasses various elements of aerial combat. It includes the development of a crewed stealth combat jet, uncrewed platforms, novel weapons, advanced sensors, cutting-edge engines, and enhanced networking and battle management capabilities, among other innovations. The ultimate goal is to weave these developments coherently and collaboratively. Furthermore, even the F-22 Raptor, one of America's most dominant fifth-generation fighters, may see itself equipped with this advanced laser technology, ushering in a new era of aerial warfare. But what's the significance of all this? Why are the Air Force and these three colossal defense contractors so heavily invested in laser weapons? What's the exact advantage that these weapons bring to these fighter jets? Well, laser weapons bring a slew of advantages that, for many years, seemed almost too good to be true. First and foremost, we have speed and accuracy. Laser, as a form of light energy, operates at the speed of light, which happens to be the fastest thing in the universe, a staggering 300 million meters per second. When you have a weapon that can strike at such speeds, there's no escape for the target. Lasers are also incredibly accurate, capable of firing with pinpoint precision over long distances. They travel in a straight line, making them the choice of snipers for precision shooting. This results in minimal collateral damage and a level of precision close to 100%, which is rarely achieved by any other weapon. The versatility of laser weapons is another standout advantage. 
They can be used in various applications, from destroying or disabling enemy vehicles, aircraft or missiles, to taking out ground targets like buildings or bunkers. Additionally, they can be used for non-lethal purposes, such as blinding enemy sensors or disabling communications equipment. This adaptability makes laser weapons a versatile and highly flexible weapon system suitable for various scenarios. One particularly remarkable advantage is the concept of an unlimited magazine. Unlike traditional weapons that require reloading, a laser weapon can theoretically keep firing endlessly once connected to a power source. It constantly converts electrical energy into laser light beams, making it an ideal choice when dealing with swarms of small, fast, and lethal attack drones. This unlimited magazine allows it to continuously fire highly effective shots, capable of burning up drones and blinding reconnaissance systems. Cost-effectiveness is yet another feather in the cap of laser weapons. They have relatively few moving parts, work autonomously with minimal human intervention, and only need a steady supply of electrical power to operate. This means they don't accumulate logistics and training expenses like traditional weapons. The primary cost associated with running laser weapons is the electricity bill, which could be as low as a few dollars per shot. So, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can take out million-dollar missiles, a deal the Air Force would gladly embrace. Lastly, laser weapons offer stealth capabilities. They can operate discreetly, emitting no sound or visible light. This makes them ideal for covert operations, allowing them to take out targets without alerting nearby personnel or setting off alarms. However, it's worth noting that while laser weapons offer many advantages, they come with some challenges. One such challenge is the requirement for a constant, mobile power source. Overcoming these challenges is no small feat, but the rewards far outweigh the obstacles. As a result, the F-22 Raptor, already one of the world's most superior air superiority fighters, is well on its way to becoming even more formidable with the integration of laser weapons. It's an advancement from its previous ammunition, like the AM-120 AMRAAM. This is the primary air-to-air -air missile used by the F-22. With a range of over 100 miles, it's capable of engaging multiple targets simultaneously. The AIM-120 is radar-guided and has an active seeker, enabling it to home in on enemy aircraft even when they attempt to evade it. There is also the IM-9X Sidewinder, a short-range heat-seeking missile used for close-in air-to-air combat. With a range of up to 22 miles and exceptional maneuverability, it excels at targeting agile opponents, such as enemy fighters. For ground attack missions, the F-22 relied on the GBU-32 JDAM, or Joint Direct Attack Munition, a 1,000-pound precision-guided bomb. This weapon can be guided to its target via GPS or its inertial guidance systems. The F-22 carries multiple GBU-32 JDAMs, allowing it to deliver devastating blows to enemy ground forces. Another powerful ground attack option is the GBU-39 small diameter bomb, which the F-22 can carry in abundance. These lightweight bombs are highly accurate and designed to neutralize fortified enemy positions by penetrating hard-end targets like bunkers or buildings. Guided by GPS or onboard laser systems, they can travel over 60 miles to strike their intended targets. All these weapons alongside the F-22 Raptor will be used by Israel if the U.S. finally sends it out. Israel already has a substantial military force with approximately 1.7 million active personnel, while Hamas has a much smaller force of around 10,000 to 20,000 active fighters. Israel also has a significant reserve of about 30 million men and women available for military service if needed. Also, Israel possesses both ballistic and cruise missiles, while Hamas is believed to have an arsenal of about 6,000 rockets and missiles. Given the current intensity of the conflict, that number could be even higher. Among Israel's powerful missiles is the Jericho II, 
while some of the notable missiles in Hamas's arsenal include the Iranian Fajr-5 and the R-160, with ranges of approximately 75 to 150 kilometers. However, the most significant difference in firepower between Israel and Hamas lies in the aerial domain, and the U.S. may be making them stronger. Hamas doesn't have any planes or Air Force personnel at all. Therefore, Israel will probably use its weapons to stop the attacks from Hamas as soon as they can. There's also another laser-directed energy weapon suitable for integration onto the AC-130J Ghost Rider gunship. However, this system is substantially larger and not suited for a fighter-sized combat jet. Lockheed Martin has developed this impressive weapon, and it's known as the Airborne High Energy Laser, or AHEL. It is set to find its place on the AC-130J Ghost Rider gunship. This groundbreaking technology serves both offensive and defensive purposes, effectively equipping the aircraft to eliminate enemy vehicles, aircraft, missiles, or drones. The AC-130J Ghost Rider primarily focuses on close air support, air interdiction, and armed reconnaissance. These missions cover a wide range of operations, including convoy escort, point air defense, and air interdiction missions against pre-planned and opportunistic targets. These missions encompass strike coordination, surveillance, and overwatch roles. One of the most remarkable aspects of the AC-130J is its role in providing ground forces with an expeditionary direct fire platform. Its persistence in the air makes it ideally suited for urban operations. Moreover, this aircraft excels in delivering precision, low-yield munitions against ground targets. It also marks a significant advancement as a fifth-generation gunship, replacing the aging AC-130U and AC-130W gunships. The legacy of AC-130 gunships dates back to Vietnam, where they played a pivotal role by destroying over 10,000 trucks and executing life-saving close air support missions. Over the decades, AC-130s have continuously been deployed to various global hotspots, offering essential support to special operations and conventional forces in regions such as South America, Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. It's important to highlight that the U.S. Air Force's AC-130J Ghost Riders were actively engaged in combat missions in Afghanistan in June 2019. They are not being used in Israel, though. The aircraft took over responsibilities from the AC-130U Spooky, which had been supporting U.S. Coalition Special Operations Forces and their Afghan counterparts. Notably, the recent deployment marked the final combat mission for the AC-130U Spooky. The introduction of the AC-130J Ghost Riders brought a new era of capabilities to the field. These aircraft have been instrumental in ensuring the continued support for operations on the ground. The initial operational capability of the AC-130J was achieved in late 2017, with the 73rd Special Operations Squadron at Hurlburt Field being the first functional unit to fly this remarkable aircraft. The Ghost Rider boasts a standard 105mm cannon and an additional 30mm GAU-23A autocannon. Its arsenal includes precision-guided munitions like the GBU-39B small-diameter bombs, GBU-44B Viper Strike Glide Bombs, GBU-69 Small Glide Munition, AGM-176 Griffin Missile, and AGM-114 Hellfire Missiles. The 30mm cannon is particularly precise. It operates almost like a sniper rifle, ensuring that the first shot equals the first kill. It's a lethal addition that significantly enhances the gunship's capabilities. But, the impact of the AC-130Js extends beyond firepower. The gunship's precision-guided munitions capabilities grant them greater standoff reach, enabling them to engage multiple targets simultaneously across distinct areas. Furthermore, the AC-130J can provide highly precise direct fire support, similar to its predecessors. Enhanced sensors, data links, communication systems, and other features have further improved the AC-130J's capabilities. 
It's an aircraft equipped for the modern battlefield and well-suited to meet the ever-evolving demands of military operations. In addition to these improvements, the Air Force is focusing on enhancing the survivability of its remaining gunships against emerging threats, such as GPS jamming. Keeping these assets protected and effective in an evolving and complex battle space is crucial. Also, plans have been underway to demonstrate a high-energy laser weapon on one of these gunships since 2022, which opens up exciting possibilities for advanced warfare capabilities. Therefore, we can expect that the introduced airborne high-energy laser will bring a potentially game-changing power to this formidable gunship. Lockheed Martin, the developer of the A-Shell, touts the laser weapon's readiness to defend against an array of threats. According to Lockheed Martin's claims, the AHL is designed to protect against small rockets, artillery shells, mortars, small unmanned aerial vehicles, small attack boats, and lightweight ground vehicles at a range of approximately a mile. What makes the AHL particularly fascinating is its adaptability. This high-power laser system is designed to be modular and scalable, making it a versatile addition to various platforms and missions. The AHEL has already undergone rigorous factory acceptance testing, and it has been promptly delivered to the U.S. Air Force for the subsequent phases of integration, ground testing, and flight testing on the AC-130J gunship. One can only imagine the strategic advantages such a versatile laser weapon could offer the AC-130J. This defensive and offensive potential spans a range of threats, from conventional munitions to emerging ones like small drones and boats. By providing the AC-130J with an additional tool for engaging these threats, the AHEL has the potential to enhance the gunship's operational capabilities significantly. Integrating the AHEL into the AC-130J is expected to be a game-changer. The gunship is already armed with cannons, missiles, and bombs, and the addition of the AHEL will further enhance its capabilities and survivability. This marks a significant step towards ensuring the AC-130J remains a potent asset in the arsenal of the U.S. Special Operations Command. As the global security landscape evolves, the United States recognizes the need to be prepared for potential conflicts with near-peer adversaries and to support allies. Experimenting with advanced weapon systems like the AHEL and LANCE demonstrates a commitment to maintaining a technological edge, ensuring that the nation's military capabilities remain robust and ready to meet the challenges of an ever-changing world. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen for another of our interesting videos. See you there.